the Open Sousa Project. <laughs> the Open Sousa Project just had one of those mask slip moments. Uh, so th those of you remember the Bcash FS drama. Uh, and this, the short version of that is this. There was a developer, and this developer was making a file system for Linux called Bcache FS. And that particular developer was a bit of an opinionated guy, right? He tended to mouth off about things, and he did not hold back. He did not have much of a filter on him. And he was on the Linux kernel mailing list, spouting off his ideas, just like a whole lot of other Linux kernel maintainers, including Linus Torvalds himself. Well, several times in a row, his mouthing off caused him to get his hands slapped, his wrists slapped rather hard by the ruler-touting penguin nuns over on the Linux kernel mailing list. He got suspended for a month one time, and, and then eventually, Linus himself declared that his file system, despite it being in use by a whole bunch of people, BcacheFS, would no longer have a maintained status inside the Linux kernel, basically becoming being somewhat removed from the Linux kernel. And the reasons appeared to be entirely his conduct, his behavior. Now, his behavior was not that he was hopping in there screaming obscenities or threatening everyone. In fact, his behavior was far more tame than Linus himself. And I talked quite a bit about how uh, this was a very peculiar thing to be happening. And many people started came to the defense of Linus Torvalds and the, the Linux Foundation and whatnot and said, no, 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 he, he, this developer was not being banned because of his behavior. He was not being banned because of his attitudes. He was being banned because he didn't follow proper procedures. Sometimes he submitted patches too late in the cycle, and so he must be kicked out. That's why he was banned. And I said, yeah, that doesn't seem like what's happening. Well, the Open Sousa Project made a statement uh, eight days ago on September 10th entitled Bcache FS is being disabled in Open Sousa kernels after version 6.17. Okay, so I checked it out. What exactly are they saying there? <laughs> well, quote, given BcacheFS is externally maintained now, we are disabling the file system too. Therefore, everyone using it should follow it upstream, blah, 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 blah. In short, they're getting rid of it because the Linux kernel got rid of it. But why? Further down the release, uh, this announcement, quote, once the Bcache FS maintainer behaves and the code is maintained upstream again, we will re-enable. <laughs> As in my opinion, it's a useful feature. End quote. <laughs> That's right. Once the Bcache FS maintainer behaves himself, boom, he, they will allow his code to come back and the features to be re-implemented. What's crazy to me about this is that is the Linux Foundation, Linus Torvalds, Linux kernel maintainers, and now specifically OpenSUSE and, and multiple other Linux distribution maintainers saying, choosing what features users can have access to, what file systems they can have access to, based on whether or not they like the behavior of the developer. What's really nuts about this is for years, for years, a file system was in Linux kernel mainstream maintained, written by a convicted murderer. Yeah, they did. So apparently murder was not a bad enough behavior to remove features from a kernel. They they eventually did remove features. They, they pulled that file system out uh, just this last year. In fact, it was in there for years. But what's crazy is simply mouthing off, not quite as much as Linus, boom. No, if they don't like you, those features are out of the kernel. And even when people are actively using the file system, they're saying, Font, we're yanking the file system support. It's not gonna be in the kernel anymore. So don't up get, update your kernel or you're, or you're, or you're screwed. Uh, and and I, wanna, I wanna reiterate something here because this is really important. Many people have been pushing this, this, this strange, twisted narrative 
that this developer of Bcash FS was really kicked out because he was, you know, not following. His name is Ken Overstreet, and because and, and, he was not following um, uh, the rules of not pushing code changes late in the uh, release cycle for any given version of the Linux kernel. So I want to read what I posted over on X because it was friggin' brilliant. Uh, quote, some people have claimed that a motivating factor for banning the Bcash FS developer from the Linux kernel is that he has submitted code changes for consideration too late in the development cycle of a given Linux kernel version release. However, that does not quite pass the sniff test. If submitting code changes late in the cycle was cause for banning, nearly every significant Linux kernel developer would also need to be banned, including Linus himself, who has done it so many times. Many of the other developers being more regularly guilty of that than the Bcash FS developer. This simply cannot be the true motivation for that change, for that banning. Uh, in, anyway, I thought it was interesting that they had a mask slip moment where they they admitted publicly that, yeah, this is really about behavior. <laughs> this is not about features. This is not about development process. This is not about following rules. This is about them not liking someone's behavior. And, and it doesn't even seem to really be about politics. It seems to be about personally whether they like him or not. That to me is insane. That is insane. And the Linux kernel, the Linux foundation, uh, OpenSUSE and other distributions uh, dislike someone's behavior, someone's choice of wording so much that they're willing to hurt users, to hurt their users, just to punish that guy. That's stupid. That's just stupid. Uh, thank you to the Lunduke Journal subscribers for making this sort of coverage possible. Go to lunduke.com and click on all of those links. You love those links. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds, nerdettes alike, especially the nerdettes, across the intertubes, I do declare and broadcast.